This is Blonde Music News. I'm Rebecca Sansom. Breaking news! If you're a performing artist, and you know you are, who can prove you've performed at a nonprofit, you're now eligible to get the vaccine. This is huge news. To find out if a venue you played is a nonprofit, just Google the name of the venue plus GuideStar, and if it says 501c3, you're in luck. So like Webster Hall, the Brick Theater, or the Foundry are all nonprofits in New York City. You can go to turbovax.info to sign up for the vaccine if you think you're eligible. Thanks to musicallianceworkers.org for this helpful info. More in the show notes. Did you know that more independent artists won Grammys this year than major label artists? 52% in all four of the big categories were won by women. There have never been more ways to promote yourself and your music as an indie artist. Like now you can sell your merch with one click on Amazon Music or expand your fan relations with Instagram Rooms or Twitter Spaces. See how other artists are doing with Spotify's new transparency tool, Loud and Clear. Or network with the Concert Archives app and see who was at the same show as you back when that was a thing. Then strike up a meaningful conversation and maybe get a new fan. Like we're new fans of our featured artist this week, May Krell, whose voice is just the most beautiful. May is from New York City and founded and runs the online music publication Tongue Tied Magazine. They began their career in the music industry photographing live shows for Rolling Stone and Sony RCA. And get this, they're only 21. Now here's May to tell you more about their new single, Are You Sure? Thanks so much, Rebecca, for having me on Blonde Music News. I'm super stoked. I'm here to talk about my new single, Are You Sure? that just came out. And I ask myself, are you sure was it ever? Are You Sure is a song that I wrote a long time ago at this point. I was probably like 18 or 19. And it's definitely one that is still relevant for me now. It's more so about a feeling than an event. When you're recovering from something, whether it's mental health or addiction or like a relationship, there's always gonna be hard moments, like kind of lapses where you go up and down. And are you sure is about those moments where you're having such a hard time that you forget that anything's ever really gotten better. Um, kind of questioning yourself and going back and forth, like, are you sure? Was it ever really that bad? Or are you sure that it's that bad now? And just kind of like how it can all mess with your head a ton. Um, yeah, thanks for listening. Something we can all relate to this year. I am not sure about anything except that I love your voice, May. Stick around for more of May with an exclusive performance right after Quick Picks. We love updating you on past featured artist news. So we've got to tell you about Soleil's music video for Whose Side. How fun is that video? And Soleil said we could all have a dinner party with her in Miami post-pandemic. So every month after June, I've penciled in possible dinner with Soleil, Kitten, Crystal, etc. <laughs> One of our patrons on Patreon put on a very cool concert this past weekend. We're big fans of Aletheus' music and live shows and aren't just saying that because they're our patrons. They do lights and atmosphere and energy like, whoa. But maybe you are more likely to get reported on if you are a patron. I don't know. Justin Bieber did something that I can't fathom wasn't intentional when he used Eustace's font, The Mark, for his new album that is also called Justice. Here to explain how and why and what the hell is our very own entertainment lawyer, Mike Lawrence. Thanks, Rebecca. Just as the group trademarked its logo in 2008, one could make a very strong case for trademark infringement when on one hand a logo and on the other hand an album title contains identical words with nearly identical fonts containing the display of a cross in the place of the letter T. Just as the group is arguing that their fans knowing the group's logo would be confused that Justin Bieber's album is coming from them. Knowledge that the infringer knew they were infringing a registered trademark isn't necessary to find trademark infringement. However, 
just as the group's assertion that Bieber's legal team initially contacted them for permission to use the group's mark certainly shows an awareness that the French duo had certain rights through the registered trademark they had for their logo. Stay tuned for what happens next, but I have a feeling that just as the French duo are about to get bel argent. For those that don't know French, that translates to cash money. This is Mike Lawrence for Blonde Music News. Back to you, Rebecca. I still don't get the flagrancy, but that was helpful. Thanks, Mike. Not only that, but none of the songs on the album are about justice, even though he does sample MLK Jr. Thankfully, we've got Celeste Krishna to go into further detail on her observations of appropriation. Hey y'all, it's Celeste Krishna. Um, so the other day I hopped on my Spotify and the first thing that was like advertised to me was the Justin Bieber album that just came out called Justice. And I was like, oh wow, did Bieber make an album about like racial justice or uh, the movement for black lives like what, what's this about um so i check it out i listen to it and they have literally just slapped a couple mlk audio interludes in a pop r&b album of love songs and with kind of a christian spin like the songs have nothing to do with justice and i am so infuriated that they titled the album that and threw some MLK audio in there as if it's an album about that. Um, it's totally like capitalizing on the Black Lives Matter movement, the movement for justice to like try and brand this music as that when it's not even dealing with those issues at all. Um, I mean, millions of dollars, lots of people are working with and for Justin Bieber's team. Like, I, it's such weak sauce to slap some MLK audio in there and title a project this. It is not even about that. And, and in fact, it's just like straight up exploiting the movement and appropriating it, capitalizing on, it's gross. Like, it's like, what, what's going on there? Like, who didn't take a beat and like consider this? Especially considering the conversations have been had this past year. Um, Scooter Braun, like, I, I'm just like appalled. Like, what's going on there? Um, so those are my two cents. Thanks, Celeste. It needs to be said and it needs to be heard. What also needs to be heard is Celeste's song, Nothing But Time, that comes out this Friday. Let me tell you about it. song was inspired by the theoretical physicist Carlo Rovelli, who said, time is an illusion. Is in the myth an illusion? See for yourself with a music movie preview from M. I drink your milkshake. That must mean it's time to do a movie preview. That's right, Demi Lovato's docuseries, Dancing with the Devil, episode one, airs tomorrow on YouTube. And we're so excited to watch. It's a open and honest revelation of Demi's own struggles with substance abuse and mental health. We can't wait to watch it. And I think this is gonna do really great work for her audiences and her fans, I think having someone open up at that level of fame and fortune about their own struggles really starts conversations that help change lives. So thank you, Demi. On an unrelated note, I want to say protect the Asian community and stop Asian hate. Reach out to those you know who may be affected by this emotionally, you never know, and just see how they're doing. Right now, I think the most important thing for us to do is check in on each other and look at what nonprofits and charities we can donate our time and resources to to help protect the Asian community. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. We are already getting rave reviews for Goldilocks' new song, Cherry, so we had to have Goldie on to tell you more about it. I don't know if anybody ever told you this before, but, um, Ooh, you're sweet like cherry. Yeah, baby, come and catch a vibe sometime. We click, that's scary. Yeah, the link is in my bio now. It's like, baby, go and pre-save that. Only if you pass.
find some time so you can make it yours. Nah, but for real, Cherry available everywhere. Go pre save that joint. This is Goldilocks. I'm out. Shout out to Alpha Fontes. Okay, who's ready for quick picks? We've got the one and only Crystal via scenes from the underground back this week. And if you're wondering where Sam is, we have to give her time to finish her book, Fans Do Brooklyn, which is due at the end of March. Thanks for being here, Crystal. Thanks, Rebecca. So my first pick of the week belongs to NYC alternative rock duo Gardenia. Yes, think the flower. And it's their new single, Therapy Sessions. drop this on scenes from the underground this past week and the song is a great cautionary tale that whenever you go through a breakup and you have to vent be careful that you yourself don't become toxic in all your venting glory my second quick pick of the week belongs to lily mayo and her single seasick on the subway So the song is this perfectly blended, juxtaposed rock tune that deals with things that we loved about the subway and also things that we hated. And if we're really being honest, I know I will be fully honest, it was like a mini vacation underground for at least 45 minutes. My third pick of the week is for all you pop punk kids out there. It's coming to you courtesy of Chicago's own action adventure with their song and music video for Barricades. Barricades. The music video has each one of the five guys in the band holding up signs with all the problematic things folks have said to them either on tour or at shows. They then took those sayings and made this amazing five-part mini docuseries called Pop Punk in Color, breaking down those stereotypes. And if we're really being honest, Pop Punk is no longer a cis white boys club and it's about damn time. My fourth pick of the week belongs to Vancouver-based folk soul rock outfit Akil and it's their lyric music video for Key. So the song is this dancey, mellow, sexy tune that tackles this notion of actually letting someone in emotionally when you've had walls built around your heart for a very long time. And my final quick pick of the week belongs to Jelly Kelly and their song Rest Energy. You can it's a dream. a surfy indie rock jam about proper communication, right? The song is off their latest release titled Oh Earth You Mean the World to Me that came out last summer and the band camp sales of that EP are going directly to Black Lives Matter. And uh, that does it for this week's Quick Picks. My name is Crystal. I am from Scenes from the Underground, a local music site here in New York City covering bands in NYC and beyond. Thank you so much Rebecca and I'm throwing it back to you. That was awesome. 
And don't forget to support those artists and all of the artists on the show by checking out the show notes and following them everywhere you can. Let's get back to supporting one of them now with more from May Krell. Hi, my name is May Krell. Thank you so much for having me. I just put out my recent single, Are You Sure? And I'm going to play it for you and some other songs too. So this is Are You Sure? October, so I'm essentially like playing my singles backwards. Um, and Wash is definitely a little bit more of a positive song. I mean, considering it's still sad music, right? Um, but it has some glimmer of hope in it, and I think it's, for me, it's a really special song, so I hope you like it too. <clears throat> Drowning, and I'm drowning. 
Can't turn off the faucet no matter how hard I try This water's all around me, it's chasing itself from my eyes And I swear I heard you calling but it's all a bit my fault now I can't understand but if I listen I can still hear the again like backwards order so this is the one that came out before wash um and this one was written like a long time ago in comparison to the rest um and I had I was probably 18 almost 19 and I'd gotten out of like a treatment that I was going through and I was doing a lot better and I moved back home to New York City and all these basic things in my life just started to become terrifying. I was scared to take the train. I was scared to walk home alone at night. All these things that were never a big deal to me. And um, I was up really late last night and I realized that I was so scared because I valued my life and because I wanted to be alive. And I never had that fear before. And um, home is about that.
I wish I had the right words to explain that there is air in my lungs and blood in my veins. I guess I can't complain. It's more than I thought it had become. Thank you so much for having me and thank you for listening. Um, yeah, thank you. Bye. So lovely, May. Thank you so much for being on. Everybody go follow and support May right now. One more song for you. Monty released No Motivation last week and we totally dig it. Trust me, it's all the same. Sing along, my own head. A step above the living dead. Another love, another song. It's all the same. Yeah. It's on our Spotify playlist like all the other songs you heard from this week. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay positive, save the world. I'm Rebecca Sands. The drummer is that. Baby, what you wanna do with me? You a bad bunny, you don't really listen to the scrutiny I'm trying to be with you exclusively I like your vibes and how we moving, baby, it's so new to me I wanna be with you mañana and pasado Me gusta tu mirada when we smoking on the loud You a keeper, baby, I'm a chiefer Hit me on the beeper, I think I'm a keeper